It's the book club for kids. The book club for kids. It's the book club for kids. It's the book club for kids podcast. It's a bonus edition of the book club for kids. Hi, I'm Kitty Feldy. There is one thing this pandemic has made me really miss. Travel. Getting on an airplane and flying off to some wonderful distant place. Like New Zealand. This month, we are going to take you there virtually through your ears. We're going to hear from a New Zealand writer, the New Zealand ambassador to the United States, and from school kids on the North Island. But this week, we wondered what kinds of books do Kiwi kids read? The answer? Well, pretty much the same kinds of books you like to read. Fantasy, adventure, graphic novels, and some realistic fiction. Our readers are from the Southwell School. Okay, you guys, answer our hardest question. What is your favorite book? Hi, my name is Shannon. I am from Hamilton, New Zealand. I recommend Molly Moon Stops the World as well as the Molly Moon series by Georgia Bing. This is one of my favorite books because it is really original. If you want to have a break from Harry Potter, this is certainly the book you would want to try. This is a fantasy book, and it's a real page-turner because it's full of exciting adventure. These series will keep you on the edge of your seat all the way long. Molly Moon is an orphan with hypnotic powers, which means she can put you into a trance and make you do anything she wants you to do. The first book in the series is Molly Moon, Incredible Book of Hypnotism. It gets crazier along the way. Molly Moon, fast, funny, and original. Hi, my name is Josie, and I live in Hamilton, New Zealand. My favourite book is There's a Boy in the Girl's Bathroom by Lewis Sackett. I like this book because it was filled with humour and there's a really clear and important message, which is to believe in yourself. The main character is an 11-year-old boy named Bradley Talkers who is a naughty but sensitive kid. He calls out in class and he plays pranks on people. One time he even spat on someone. He doesn't have any friends and his life is messed up. But in the end he becomes more comfortable in being himself thanks to Carla the counsellor who is a unique, understanding and very patient person with Bradley's attitude. In the middle, Bradley and Jeff switch characters which is really weird. Because Jeff suddenly ditches Bradley and lies all the time, and Bradley becomes nice to Carla and Mrs. Ebel, Bradley's teacher. He also earns himself his first golden star. Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm from Hamilton, New Zealand. My favourite book is The Courageous Princess by Rod Espanosa. It is a graphic novel, and I love this book because it is adventurous. Mabel Rose is not your typical type of princess. She was laughed at when she went to the ball because her dress was too common and not pretty enough. This makes her run away, but she is kidnapped by a dragon and taken to his fortress. Mabel Rose tries to escape, but is charged at by monsters. She finds a porcupine who becomes a bigger part of the story and helps her get home. I would recommend this book to anyone who is adventurous and likes graphic novels. This book, to me, would be good for seven-year-olds and older. The drawings are amazing and the characters are awesome. Our library has finally got the second part to the book and I am looking forward to the second part of the tale. Hi, my name is Elsa. I'm from Hamilton, New Zealand. My favourite book is Every Shiny Thing by Cordelia Jensen. I like this book because I had a similar experience to the girls in the story. In this girl, Sienna and Lauren both lose someone that they love. Lauren's older brother have to go to boarding school, and she's really sad because she had always been a good sister, and she can't stand having him away from home. Sienna loses her mum, who had gone to jail because she'd been drinking and taking drugs. Sienna had to go to a foster home because she, her dad is also in jail. I can relate to this story because I lost my great-grandmother last year, who was really special to me, because she was my only great-grandparent that I've ever seen. This story was like a roller coaster, sometimes up and sometimes down. We'll have a list of everybody's favorite books at our website, bookclubforkids.org. And if you have a favorite book, 
you can be on the Book Club for Kids podcast, too. Whether you live in New Orleans or Nairobi, Bangor or Bangalore, just record yourself on your smartphone telling us your first name, the city where you live, the name of your favorite book, and why you love it. And email the voice memo to me at kitty at bookclubforkids.org. That's K-I-T-T-Y at bookclubforkids.org. And we would love to hear from you. Oh, and send us a picture of yourself with your favorite book. And you can see pictures of our New Zealand readers at our website, bookclubforkids.org, at our Books We Love page. That's also where you can find hundreds of favorite book suggestions to help you find your next great read. Now, next week, we will continue our virtual trip to New Zealand with a survival tale when we discuss Brian Faulkner's novel, Shooting Stars. Meanwhile, how about a virtual trip to Washington, D.C.? Well, check out our other podcast, The Fina Mendoza Mysteries. It's about a girl from California who finds herself in the mysterious world of Capitol Hill. You might even learn a thing or two about Congress. That's the Fina Mendoza Mysteries. And I'm Kitty Feldy. Thanks so much for listening. 